I'm on the hunt for a giant catfish, and in today's video, I'm deep in the wilderness fishing a sandbar while battling bass fishermen. We're not far away from where we won't see a freaking bass fisherman going 95 miles an hour down the freaking river, dude. Myself. And mosquitoes. I can't, I'm not exaggerating, guys. There's so many mosquitoes out here. If there, I mean, if there's any more, they could pick me up and fly off with me. We're gonna throw some big baits, wait a little, and see if we can catch a giant without getting eaten alive. Look at, look at, look at all those mosquitoes, man. I'm glad you guys are with me. Let's go fishing. Yep, yep, I'm, I freaking knew it. Gosh dang guys, we're out here in the middle of the woods trying to catch a giant. Let's get some bait on, see if we can get a big fish. Let's go. We got some frozen gizzard shad and we have some fresh frozen crappie I caught just a couple days ago. And that's what we're using for bait, man. And uh, we're going after, we're going after that hundred. So we're gonna open up these bad boys. Yup. No playing around today. I mean, you guys see this junk right here. We're gonna. There we go. Nasty for sure. This piece of bait right here is probably probably like a rock, man. That's some sandbar seasoning on it. That's a shad head. And you see the size circle hook we got today, guys. We're not playing around. We want to try and catch a big one. All right, bait number one. Big dookie right there. Let's see how far we can chunk this baby out. That's good enough. That is good enough for me. First trap right there. It's set for this one. We're actually gonna throw on a big piece of crappie. All right, guys. Got this big piece of crappie. And I have a double hook rig right here. I'll show you how I hook it. I hook it right here through the head. And then I'm gonna hook right down here. Just like that. That's where it's gonna sit in the water and uh, the big fish hooks on. We're gonna have two chances to hook him. That's the idea of it, at least. Right there. And what we're doing today is we're fishing drop-offs, man. It's that time of year where these big cats should start being, they should start to pick up feeding-wise. Doesn't mean we'll actually catch one. If you throw some baits on some drop-offs and you wait long enough, the big cat's gonna come rolling by. And we're in the middle of nowhere, but we're not, we're not far away from where we won't see a freaking bass fisherman going 95 miles an hour down the freaking river, dude. You can be in the Amazon River and you'd probably see a bass fisherman going 95 miles per hour, scaring all the dang fish. I mean, it's crazy, absolutely crazy. All right, guys, there's probably 25,000 mosquitoes trying to suck my dang blood right now. It's crazy how many are out here right now. And the thing is, I got mosquito spray on. Crazy. All right, guys, got one more piece, a small piece on a small pole. It's just a piece of gizzard, man. We got gizzard and crappie today. I mean, they're not fresh. They're, well, the gizzard's a couple months old. Crappie's a couple days old. And uh, I'm gonna walk right out here. I got a bait right here already, big crappie head. We're gonna throw it on this drop off. And I mean, right on the tip of it too. I'll tell you, there's probably 32 freaking million mosquitoes out here. I mean, it is crazy. I never seen so many mosquitoes in my life, man. 
I'm not exaggerating, guys. There's so many mosquitoes out here. If there, I mean, if there's any more, they could pick me up and fly off with them. I mean, they're just everywhere. I mean, I, there's one right there, one right there. Walking in that water is not doing me any good either. I mean, they're probably just all stacked right here. There's no telling how many is out here. Luckily, thank goodness, guys, I always carry insect repellent. Now, the bad part is these fish are so smart that if you get any of this on your bait, they will not bite it. So make sure, especially the big ones, make sure you don't put insect repellent or any type of lotion on or sunscreen before you cast your baits out. Cast your baits out, then do that. Take care of yourself. Make sure to bring insect repellent. You don't want to get some kind of disease because some stinking mosquito wanted to bite your leg. Just be careful out there. Hoping the catfish are biting. Don't know, man. Got that shad head on. Got another piece of shad. Got a, literally a whole crappie. And I got another piece of shad down there. I want to use up all my shad. If the crappie gets any bites, then I guess we'll put on some crappie. But right here is a pretty cool looking spot. Kind of got like this eddy. Little eddy right here. Middle of nowhere, man. Middle of nowhere. I had to drive like an hour out here. And uh, it's mosquito infested. Look at, look at, look at all those mosquitoes, man. I got, I got that on video. That's another thing, bass. But I, I three already, guys. I mean, like I said, I could be in the middle of nowhere, in the Amazon forest, and my God, I'd sit up on a bank and three bass fishermen would literally drive by. I mean, I, I would, I'd bet a million dollars on it. Bet a million dollars on it. Anyways, hopefully we can uh, catch a giant, I guess. <laughs> Guys, I try to tell people this all the time about catfishing. The thing is, the key is, it's patience. Especially during the summer, man. You gotta think, these fish, they're in a transition phase, they're moving. You know, if you sit in a spot long enough, you're gonna have a big fish come by and take your bait. There's just no and or if or buts about it. You just gotta be at the right location at the right time. There's really no secret to fishing. Right now, TVA, they got the current up, water's up. You see it flowing slowly. We're in a kind of like a river bend type deal. That, that's a good thing, you know, because it, it gives us a chance to, to fish a ledge and in the current. And you got this little eddy looking right here. I mean, this is a, a absolutely fantastic spot to catch big fish. But the thing to remind yourself, especially when you're catfishing, you know, it takes time and you got to wait. That there's no There's no way around it. I mean, unless you're the luckiest man in the world, there's a fish that's right there. But if you're the luckiest man in the world, then you're going to go out there and catch fish every single time. If you, if you aren't, or if you're like the average Joe like me, you're going to have to sit in the spot for probably a couple hours before you get a bite. If you don't like doing that, this ain't for you. You should go bass fish and waste your time doing that. That's just my opinion, my take on it, guys. You can let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm going to quit rambling for a minute and uh, kind of enjoy this scenery. I don't get to do this a lot, so... See you guys in a minute. Yep, yep, I'm, I freaking knew it. Right here, guys. I saw it. I saw it taking off. There's a fish on there. Saw it going, tightening up, and yeah, it's a good little one. Mine doesn't feel like no giant. I think it's a little flathead. If I'm be honest with you guys. That was on the shad. That was, or this fish was. Yeah, it's a flat. Oh, he's barely hooked too. Barely hooked. I know you guys might be able to see that. He got a big noggin on him. Look at that, barely hooked, right there. Yeah, 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 I get it. Hey, at least we know the bite, right? Here we go. 
nice little flat. He's got some shaved off whiskers right there, but cool. Cool looking fish. I'm sure he's ready to go home. He's probably like, what are you doing, Randall? What are you doing? Let me go home. You guys can kind of see him right there. Let's go ahead and get a release on him. There he goes. Sometimes those flyheads, man, you roll, you roll them up, or even the blue cats, you roll them up really fast out of that deep water, and they just get kind of like lethargic, and they, their stomachs blow up, and I mean, they, they die on you. And you wouldn't think that. You'd think that would happen with like a trout or some other weak little fish, like a bass, but nah, they do it too. They do it too. That was interesting. They didn't take long. Uh, caught him on that piece of uh, shad. Don't have another one. Probably got one more piece of it, but who knows? At least he's back in the dang river. That's all I can say. Wasn't expecting that. I was expecting a blue or something. He picked that up and just kind of took us home. All right, whatever. Let's get another bait on. I don't like using tail chunks of shad, but beggars can't be cheesy maybe i'll catch a state record on this knock on wood i know one thing a flathead will eat it my god a state record blue catfish should those honorary fish so that's that's a tail end of a, a shad i mean if if there's a big cat out here and he's hungry he's gonna eat it he's not gonna care about what it is at least i would think i hope to think that all right, I'm gonna cast it right back out there. He probably bit too, when I think about it, he probably bit right on the bottom of that drop off. I mean, it just makes sense. All right, another one out. A little flyhead decided to join us this morning. Unfortunately, I don't have no more gizzard shad with me i'm very conservative about my gizzard shad man i i gotta make that crap last until april of next year i don't like chasing bait i'm not a bait chaser i'm a fisher so if i can get bait i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna conserve it i'll use it four or five times i'm not like you picky catfish from out here that will just you know use a bait once and then throw it in the dang water once you're done no i'll put that thing back in the bag i'll refreeze it I'll refreeze it three or four times and use it over and over and over again until catfish eats it or it falls off my hook. That's just how I am, man. And it works out for me. I mean, I catch big fish. It's not like I'm fishing a tournament for money. If I was fishing for tournament for money, it might be different. I don't know. Maybe I'm just rambling. Anyways, that was an unexpected flyhead. Cool looking color, kind of a gray looking flyhead too. Wasn't really expecting him. I was just sitting here and I saw my line just kind of trinkle and then uh, started going off and I figured it was a flat. Usually when they take off slowly, nine times out of 10, it's probably flat. Sometimes it's a blue that's on the occasion. If it's a channel cat, he'll he'll just take off with it or he'll just munch on it for 20 minutes and destroy your bait and not even, not even hook himself. So we're bait back up. I got that tail piece on. We're gonna see what happens with that. I don't know if it's gonna get anything from, right now from my understanding, the fish where we caught it at, him, he was on the bottom of the drop off. So maybe they're out there cruising the ledges right now. I don't know. I mean, I got we got plenty of bait out right now too. So I mean, it's not like we don't have bait out there that that is good. We got a whole gizzard shad head. I know he ate a, a shad, a piece of shad, not the head. The head is actually down the bank right here. And I, I got it in kind of like a like a transition spot. Hopefully, I'm hoping a big blue will be cruising down here or a big flat. I'd love to catch an 80 pound flathead, man, or a 100 pounder. I'd love to catch a 100 pound flathead. But I don't know. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait a little bit longer, see what happens. I'm gonna chug some water, uh, fight some mosquitoes, and see what happens. Well, guys, it's been a couple hours. We haven't got any bites, which happens to fishing. 
it's that transition phase you know this morning it was very very warm and right now it's getting kind of colder it feels like a cold front's coming in i probably shut down the fish but regardless we caught one flathead this morning i'm excited about that happy about that hopefully this weather kind of chills out this transition phase sucks because one day in september it's freaking hot next day it's cold i'm just happy we came out here and caught a fish and i'm glad you guys came with me today um, as always peace love god bless and fish on my friends